USF's College of Marine Science just got approved to lead a $3.2 million grant researching sargasm. What you likely know of it, uh, what this is without mm -hmm. really realizing it. Yeah. We saw many videos. We have, and earlier this year, 5,000 mile long blob of seaweed was floating through the Atlantic, a real mess. And that's the focus of this project. 10 Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin introduces us to one of the scientists behind this work. Sargassum is a brown microalgae. While sargassum isn't a problem when it's in the middle of the ocean. So in the open ocean, sargassum is a critical habitat for fish, turtle, and many other animals, so it's good. Once it washes ashore, it can create unhealthy beach conditions. When you have too much on the beach, under Florida sunshine, in two days, they will decompose. They smell so bad. They attract bacteria, insects, they grow virus, and they smell like a rotten egg. Dr. Trimine, whose research shows sargassum blooms reaching the coast, has become a worsening issue. And so far, there's no clear answer. Dr. Hu is one of about 10 who are creating a new sargassum monitoring system through NOAA's grant. Instead of seeing images like this, the goal is to be able to tell which specific beaches a bloom is approaching. So what we really want to do with this project is to automate everything. So every day you have this type of a product. Uh, high resolution sargassum maps and uh, the forecast for the next few days. Getting the chance to forecast sargassum blooms to help people stay safe, it makes this research all the more meaningful to Dr. Who. So that makes me real feel uh, good. That makes me feel what I'm doing is useful to people. In St. Pete, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. We should mention here this grant not only improves monitoring and forecasting of sargassum, it also looks into the impact sargassum has when it washes ashore, harming turtle nesting, seagrass corals, and water quality.